All right, so good evening, Sulman. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine, but I I have uh, a lot of uh, gold. It's good. A lot of what you said? Excuse me. Uh, be, because the weather, the weather oh. is really. Okay, so you're cold, you, you're saying. That's mm -hmm. what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can say, I, I'm very cold. Yes. Because of the weather, right? It, it's, it's, it's windy and it's very cold right now. <laughs> yes. Yes, the thing is that we're not familiar with, with that type of weather, so that's the problem over there. Yes, because uh, no is no is common the the weather in in El Salvador. Yes, yeah, that type of weather is not common. It's not very common. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if you live in San Miguel yeah, or because, in Sulutan. <laughs> uh, the weather always. Good evening. Good evening, Tania. Good evening. Yeah, I, I can see that everybody's wearing their sweaters and everything, but, right? But in San... <laughs> yes, yeah, Sulma. It's very but cold. In San Miguel. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. But in San Miguel, T-shirt is, is cold right now, no? I because mean, yes, it... I think so. Yeah. <laughs> because in San Miguel, it's really hot. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a Michael City, right? That's what people call it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, weather in San Miguel. I'm gonna look for it right now, El Salvador. Let's see. It says 23 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, a little bit, uh, I would say cold right now. Because here in, in San Salvador, let's say I live in Mexicanos, but you may live, I don't know, uh, maybe here in San Salvador too. It says, according to my cell phone, uh, 19 degrees. Right now we're at 19 degrees, but it feels lower. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's the difference over there. But we don't want to make competition to Moises Urbina, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to do that, right? Okay. So let's see who else we have in the house right now. I have Raquel and also Jose Sierra and Adriana over here. Nice. Now, just remember that tomorrow is the, is the deadline for the platform, and that's the first thing I'm going to uh, say for you tonight, all right? So as you can see here, it's uh, week four. This is the penultimate day, okay? El penultimo. It's almost the last day of class, okay? And it's Wednesday, December the 9th, 2020. Last day of class is tomorrow at eight o'clock. It's the last time we're gonna be seeing each other for this year. If, if this is the first time that, that you are studying English online, and uh, at Inglés Corporativo, let me tell you that next year, you're gonna have another teacher and that's how it works, okay? And you take sure. Yes. I have a question about this because mm -hmm. uh, I received the, the, mes the messages on WhatsApp about the, the next year, right? Yes. But I don't understand because, because uh, I I should uh, I should choose the level, but the next level is intermediate too. Yes, yes, correct. That's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and what's the question that you have? Like, uh, you, are you asking me if, if that's okay to choose the level or what? So. Yes, the level because mm -hmm. because in um. The information is is that you 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 should choose the lever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you pass this, automatically you go to uh, intermediate two. That's the way it works. Okay. What happens is that for okay. administrative purposes, o sea, por cuestiones administrativas, for administrative purposes, 
eh, at Inglés Corporativo, they always send you a form, un formulario. They always send you a form that you have to fill out because they need to send your information again before the module starts to Insafor. Okay, so that's the way it works. And that's why they ask you which is the one you gotta choose. But in the end, we at Inglés Corporativo, we have your information and we just place you. O sea, la colocamos. We just place you in, in the module that you need to be or do you have to be. Okay. And, but thanks for that clarification. Okay. That, that's a good question. Now, let's, talk, let's take a look at the platform right now. I, I need to show you this. Okay. So just one second. You got to be careful over here. You see, I, I even looked for the information on San Miguel. <laughs> I was not kidding over here. <laughs> okay. So that being said, <laughs> be careful because... <laughs> yeah, so be careful because <laughs> according to the platform, if you go there, if you log in into the platform, it's going to tell you that the course is ending next week. But this is not correct. Okay. This is the last day that people at Inglés Corporativo, o sea, administración, you know, administration has, you know, to get all your information and to have it ready for the next module. But for you, it's tomorrow and it's at midnight. Okay. But if you already have the 80%, you don't have to worry about that because most of you already got the certificate. Am I correct? Some of you, I would say, have the certificate already, which is great. All right. So, so we don't we don't have to worry about anything over there. So just a reminder, and so the platform closes tomorrow at midnight. That's 12 a.m. And that's tomorrow, November the 10th. Now let's move forward over here. All right. What's the word? of the day all right of the night i would say is this one recharge wants batteries okay once is optional you can just delete this word o sea, esto lo puedo borrar. because if you're talking about that you are tired and that you need a vacation or you just need the christmas holidays to happen already you can say i need to recharge my batteries and if you're talking about, let's say, your mom or your brother, you have to say, my mom really needs to recharge uh, her batteries, all right? So it actually depends. So once uh, needs to be replaced with his or her or, or their. O sea, que el once hay que, hay que reemplazarlo con un possessive adjective, que es my, your, his, her, their, ours. It depends who you're talking about. Okay, so the next one, take a look at this image. Miremos por un instante esta imagen. So let's take a look at this image for a second. It says, recharge your batteries. Look at this lady and look at this gentleman. <laughs> What's something strange about, about this uh, guy and then this lady over here? What do you see in the picture? Can somebody just tell me? I, okay, so this is what I see in the picture. A volunteer right now, I don't know, Zulma, Raquel, Jose, Adriana, anybody? Uh, if you tell me, what do you see in the picture right now? On this one. Uh, I think he is a, a doctor <laughs> or, or a lawyer, I don't know. But she is, a, she is his secretary. Mm -hmm. Correct. That could be it, right? But let's take a look at the information you have mm -hmm. here right below. It says, I have nothing against you recharging your batteries. So the lady is speaking to him mm -hmm. right now. It's talking to him. And then she's saying, I have nothing against you recharging your batteries. And then uh, I just think you should do it on your own time. <laughs> Which means that they work, I would say, for the same company. And, and so he's taking, I would say, like a break, like his lunch time. But he's, he pretends to be in the ocean, right? In the beach over there, like enjoying over here a cocktail, as you can see, maybe here, a cold drink. And then he doesn't have a shirt on. He's reading the newspaper. Remember, I think he's taking this very personal, you know, recharging his batteries. <laughs> yeah, that's great. He, he even has some music in there. He has a radio and everything, all right? 
I, uh, I think this expression is, is going to be useful for you because during uh, Christmas, at least most of you have uh, some vacation, okay? I will say that. Besides the bonus that we get, right? Besides El Aguinaldo, right? So in that way, it, it's even better, right? <laughs> if you're happy to, if you're lucky to get one of those ones over there, okay? So after tomorrow, that being said, okay, you're going to recharge your batteries because you're going to rest. You're not going to have classes no more for three weeks or four weeks until next year, okay? So that's the message that I have for you this evening, all right? And this is just another example. So take a look. It says, o sea, decir, recharge one battery is also mean to, re to rest and relax in order to regain energy and strength. O sea, recuperar, se recarga la batería. O sea, esto es bien literal. O sea, no tiene otro significado ni nada más profundo. Okay? And then you have example. We, uh, we took a nap after work to recharge our batteries before going out dancing. How many of you takes a nap? Or how many of you knows someone who takes a nap? Like we said in Spanish, right? Un pestañazo, that's what people say, right? <laughs> so that's the meaning over there. I don't take a nap, okay? I wish I could, but I, I, I don't take a nap no more. What about you? Do you take a nap? Do you recharge your batteries? Yes, me and every uh -huh. day in now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, my day, uh, uh, how do you say descanso? Rest. No estoy trabajando. Uh -huh. While you're not working, mother. Yes. I okay. take a nap. <laughs> you take a nap. That's great. So you recharge your batteries. And how, how you, you sleep for, let's say, for 20 minutes or like 30, 30 minutes or more or two hours. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> yeah, that's not a nap, right? That's a short dream, but that's okay. You know, if you're working from home and you don't have to do anything, that's okay. Nos podemos dar ese lujo ahorita, ¿verdad? El siguiente año no se sabe. Okay, so we don't know that. So that's good, you know. Let's continue over here. Comparisons of equality. Eh, I'm pretty sure that you, you don't like uh, soccer or you're not familiar with soccer and, and you know, the soccer world, the marathon. But right now there's a, uh, there's a game in Salvador against the United States and that's a big humiliation, I would say, gran humillación. Uh, but that's, that's not the point over here, okay? But I think we're gonna take uh, the advantage to talk about comparisons, all right? Y ahorita que ese partido está bien reciente, o sea, that soccer match is very really like current and recent. Let's talk about that, all right? Comparisons of equality, okay? As in us, and I said this yesterday. Solo hay que poner atención a, a, a cuestiones así bien precisas de gramática, okay? Just remember, enough means that you have exactly what you need, okay? Exactly what you need. For example, for Christmas celebration, el 24 de diciembre, Christmas is if you're gonna cook, I don't know, va a ser panes con pollo, you're gonna do sandwiches, I don't know, you're gonna cook uh, something delicious for your family, and then you cook only for three family members. With you, it's four. But then your uncle arrives, and then uh, your cousins, and then their friends, and the neighbors, so you're gonna say, I don't have enough food for these people, okay? So that's the point over here. Entonces, comencemos con el punto número uno. Evaluations with adjectives. When you compare, it's because you evaluate or you give your point of view. Para eso nosotros comparamos, para dar su punto de vista, verdad, y evaluar las por cualquier cosa. It says, the kitchen isn't big enough, okay? ¿Cuál es la estructura? You have the subject, you have the verb, the adjective, and the last word would be enough. Okay? Cuando es con adjetivos, enough goes at the end. Remember that, please. The last word in a sentence, if you're using just an adjective, is enough. Okay? 
but if you're using a noun, like in this case is bedrooms, okay? Si se fijan la descripción de esta con adjetivos, el, la cosa o la cuestión que estamos evaluando o comparando está al principio. We say the house, my friend, my job, uh, etc. You may say my salary isn't good enough. You can say that, right? My aguinaldo isn't good enough. You can say that, right? Etc. So if, if it's an adjective, it goes at the end. Enough, right? But if the noun, o sea, la cuestión que estamos evaluando está al final, it's at the end of the sentence. Enough lo preside. It's right before. Por ejemplo, aquí dicen, there aren't enough bedrooms. Okay. Uh, there isn't a, enough closet space. The same thing. What's the difference over here? The difference is that in this case, we're talking about a space, y, y space is incontable. O en todo caso, solo nos estamos refiriendo a un espacio, okay? O un parqueo. O, o en todo caso, podría ser closet space, al guardarropa, right? Closet. And let's take a look at this other example. It says, uh, con adjetivos, with adjectives. The living room is too small. Esta palabra significa demasiado. All right, it's too small. Cuando los buses van demasiado llenos, that's what you say, right? If they are too cramped, you say, the bus is too cramped. Do you remember that word from yesterday? Cramped? Let's see. I think I have it here. It's over here. Uh, yes, yeah, over here. Take a look. Cramped. Demasiado lleno. You know, too many things or too many people. Like this gentleman, cramped. ¿Verdad? Con poco espacio. En palabras así de salvadoreño común o algo quizás bien coloquial o quizás vulgar es topado, right? So that's what people say. But let's continue over here. Comparisons with adjectives. Okay? This is what you have to consider. El adjetivo tiene que ir en medio del as y el as over there. Okay? Tanto como. Así se traduce esto. It's not as cheap as the last apartment. No es tan barato como. Okay. It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. What's new? Lo nuevo de aquí es que le agregado almost. Solamente para enfatizar. Just to emphasize. You know, that's the point over here. You go, it's almost as cheap as the last apartment. Okay. Let me just do something over here. Cuando es un adjetivo o un adverbio, como sea, tiene que ir el adjetivo en medio. Y, y con cualquier palabra, tiene que ir en medio. All right? It's not cheap as the last apartment. La selecta del Salvador. Ok, para decir que no juega tan bien o no, no son tan buenos como los estadounidenses, you can say, el Salvador soccer team is not as good as the United States team. You may say that, right? It's not as good. Ok. Y that's pretty much it. Okay, comparisons with nouns. ¿Qué decimos con comparisons with nouns? We say, it doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. It just has as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Significa que si en el, apart en el apartamento número uno, okay, en el apartamento número dos, hay cinco cuartos, los dos son iguales. You may say, it just has as many bedrooms as the last apartment. So they're equal, all right? Same number over there. But over here, we're just missing something. ¿Qué tal si ustedes tienen match? So what if, if you have match over here, right? Sorry about that. And you see. Si usted ocupa la palabra time, space, money, patience, etc., space, okay, I'm going to send out to you. Si usted ocupa uh, the word time, Money, patience, uh, what else? Space, if you say water, noise, etc. Those are like abstract concepts, concepts, all right? You gotta say, I'm, I don't have a, as much time as, as my friend, all right? I don't have as much, or I have as, as much money as my brother, okay? Or I make a, as much, uh, noise 
Okay, or my cousins, you may say, or my nephews make a, as much noise as my, as my, uh, I'm, as my brother, you can say that. Okay. But let's continue over here. Questions up to this point. Recuérdense que se ocupan uh, esta estructura. As, en medio tiene que ir, o sea, esto ya dado. As many, as many bedrooms, as much time, as, okay? And just like that. Si es un adjetivo, you can say, uh, que, si quiere decir que algo, un lugar es bien bonito, es decir, Puerto de la Libertad is as beautiful as, as uh, Playa El Cuco. You may say that. Okay? Any questions you, you have for me, by the way? Do you have any questions for me or, or are we good right now? Uh, yes, teacher, I have a question. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and uh, when you when you use, for example, in the bedroom, just uh -huh. is, what is the meaning when you, you use just? In it has case, just. In, in, in this, this case, uh -huh. it has just, uh, it means justamente, or cabal, like we say it in Spanish. Okay. So, my point is that just, is just, está de más, pues. All right? It's not really mm. necessary. Okay? For grammar, for grammar is necessary. No, no, no. Right now, it, it, right no. now, it's just emphasizing the idea. It's just emphasizing the idea over here. Solo estamos enfatizando de que tiene el mismo número de cuartos como el apartamento. Justamente. O sea, that's what we're saying. But it's not necessary. So, Zulma, mm -hmm. it's not necessary, by the way. If you say, uh, my house has okay. as many bedrooms as my brother's house, that's okay. Or for example, imagine that you want to buy something and you only have $20. You only have $20 in your pocket, right? And then you can say, I just have as much money to uh, as, as you or, or something like that to pay for this. O sea, tengo justamente, o sea, I don't have more and I don't have less. O sea, I have what I need. So that's the point of it. Okay. Yes, like this one. You know, almost. So it's not really necessary because the grammar is as cheap as. You can say it's, it's as cheap as the last apartment. O puede decir, es casi tan barato, ¿verdad? Casi tan barato. Quizás es más caro por centavos. So you may say that it's more expensive. Okay. But you can say it's as cheap as the last apartment. Imagine, Zulma, that you uh, live in a house but you pay the rent, okay? O sea, paga el alquiler. And you can say, uh, this, uh, this apartment or this house is as cheap or as expensive as the last one. Why? Because you pay, let's say, $200 for this house and you pay for the previous house, $200 as well. Or, or you pay, o pagaba $190 okay. en una y $200 en la otra. You may say, this is almost as cheap as the last one. Because in the previous one, Sulma, you pay... 190 and on this one you're paying 200 dollars so paga 10 dollars más so you can, you can say it's almost as cheap as the last apartment mm -hmm. but okay. all right thanks for your question by the way i do appreciate this and just to clarify this it says when the things we are comparing are equal in some way we can use the word as notice that as appear twice okay And that's it. Pongámoslo en contexto, you know, let's, let's, use, let's use this in context over here. L let me ask you, in, in this case, anybody can help me, all right? So whoever wants to answer, go ahead, please. Do you recognize these spores? What do we have over here? What spores do we have? Soccer. This is soccer, right? People say football or people say football soccer over there, so that's okay. And on this one, what do we have on the right of your screen? So what's the name of this sport, by the way? 
with the Super Bowl and everything. You say football, right? Yes. And I can ask you, I can ask in general, so which one do you like the best? Do you like soccer or do you like uh, American football better? Soccer. Soccer. Yeah, me, me too, because I don't really understand, you know, I don't understand how American football is played, by the way. All right. Now, let me ask you another question. So... It means that you don't like uh, football, American football, so that could be the, the, the point over there. Now, take a look at this. But right now, let's talk about two dogs over here. And let's see, I'm gonna ask, uh, let's see, Tanya. Tanya, do you have any pets at home? I don't know, a dog or a cat, un perico, a parrot or something like that? <laughs> yes, I have three turtles. Turtles, all right. And turtles and 12 fish. Okay, okay. Uh, and do you have a dog or not? Or it's just, that's a neighbor's dog? No, and my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Very noisy, right? That's okay. But ima imagine this, imagine this. Uh, what about you, Sulma? Do you have a dog or a pet or something? Yes, I have uh, two dogs. Right. What are what are their names? What are their names of, of your dogs? Uh, their names are Star and Oso. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, take a look at this. Uh, imagine that uh, there's an, an animal shelter, or so un refugio de animales, an animal shelter in your city. Never in El Salvador, right? Never in El Salvador right? Unfortunately. And then in your city, and you have been invited to meet some animals to see if they wanted to make an adoption. And then you and your friend both love dogs, right? You're a dog person. So you visit the shelter and refugio and go straight to the dog area. You hold and play with some of the dogs. O sea, usted juega, mira los, los chuchitos que están ahí. Y de ahí se da cuenta. You soon realize you like two of them equally. You dice, a estos dos me los llevo si pudiera. All right? And then the name is Rambo and Fido lies. All right? And then your friend tells you or asks you what you think of the two animals. And you say this. Usted da su opinión. All right? So you give your opinion. I like them bo both. Fido lies is as playful as Rambo, right? And I'm gonna ask you, Sulma, you say it's a star and also, those are your, your dog's names, right? Is that correct? Yes. Which yes. one is, which are, are they uh, playful, juguetones, playful, or not? Yes. Yeah, a star is as playful as also. But you're saying that both are very playful. Both are very playful. Uh, no, also. It's more playful. It's not playful. It's not playful at all. Okay. But imagine that in your case, your dogs starting also are very playful and then they are like the same. You can say also is as playful as a star. Okay. But you can also say, uh, also is not as playful as a star. You can say this is in a negative way. Why? Because a star is more, is more playful. So it's más juguetón, you know, and, and everything over there. Okay. And that, that's why we're saying, we're saying this, this other idea right below. So take a look. Take a look. Esto, si, si, si las cualidades son iguales, ¿verdad? You say, it's as playful, playful ah, it's as beautiful, uh, etc., right? But what if the two dogs you met were not equally playful? Or what if you did not think the two dishes were equally tasty? Si te va a comer y dice, no, no me gustó el segundo plato, right? You may say that. How could you express these ideas using us? In simply, you say, Rambo is not as playful as we realize. Right, or also is not as playful as fear lies, uh, as a star. Okay, and what about Alvers? No, vamos a leer esto, verdad? Porque es lo mismo, prácticamente. So, we're not gonna read this. 
imagine this. Uh, I'm going to ask you, Soma, and I, I'm asking you because you already shared with us the, the totals. I mean, totals in this case, also, Tanya, do not really count because I don't think they're like really fast. Mire la oración que tengo acá, eh, Tanya. Dice, runs as fast. Y no creo que las tortugas sean rápidas, ¿verdad? <laughs> but you can say, yes. yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you can say, you can say, uh, my totals, por cierto, tan, uh, by the way, Tania, do your totals have a name or not? Le ha puesto nombre a sus tortugas. Do they have a name? No. <laughs> no, I don't no, you haven't, right? So no. you, they, they don't have a name. Okay. All right, and then, so you can say, uh, total number one and total number two, or you can say total number one is as, as slow or lazy, si son perezosos, or uh, my totals are as lazy as my perro, you may say. Si está comparando sus tortugas con el, sus tortugas con el perico, you can say, my totals are as lazy as my perro, right? Or you can also say, my totals walk as slowly as, as, what can I say it over here? As my cat, you may say that. No aplica mucho, verdad? But just to make a comparison. ¿Por qué un adverbio? Porque un adverbio denota acción. Okay. In this case, we're talking about Rambo. It says, Rambo runs as fast as fetal lies. So, Sulma, let me get back to you. Is this true for you also in STAR, Sulma? I don't know, maybe STAR is faster than, than, uh, than also, or maybe both run at the same speed. Speed, you may say that. Okay. So my point over here, everyone, is that you, that you can use as, and, and this one as over here, with an adjective, with a noun, with bedrooms, space, etc., or you can use it with a verb after a verb. Okay, Rambo ramps as fast as fear lies. Okay, and that's it. All right, imagine this now. Let's talk about you. Okay, you went to a restaurant, you know, and then you, you, you are eating something, and then you have this we didn't enjoy the pasta dish as much as the rice dish. O sea, no le gustó demasiado la pasta, tanto como el arroz. All right. Now, let's hear the negative form for, uh, about the dogs. Imagínense. Firulais does not run as fast as Rambo. Okay. No corre tan rápido como Rambo. All right. Because it's the simple present over here. Okay. Now, if you take a look at these apartments, you have uh, this one. It says, it's a spacious, modern apartment, older, smaller apartment. They have two bedrooms. Apartment number one has two bedrooms. Apartment number two has two bedrooms too. Okay. So you can say uh, apartment one has as many as many uh, bedrooms as apartment two, etc. And that's how you do it. Esta es la estructura. Por si ustedes querían sacarle una captura de pantalla, you know, you can get a screenshot of everything. You can see that. My car is as comfortable as yours. My class is not as difficult as yours. Okay, adjetivo, it goes in the middle, you know, the adjective. Same as the adverb. My sister drives as carefully as me. ¿Quiénes manejan de una forma más temeraria? Los de la 44, los de la 9, los de la 42. Which one do you think? Over here. All right. Los de la 49, 41, etc. All right. So it's up to you. Okay. I don't sing as well as my best friend. And then we move forward over here. So right now, what you... I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. All right, yeah, I think I lost the connection just for a second over here. Me quedé hablando solo. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Eh, lo que les estaba diciendo es It's que les voy a... Hey, un moment. <laughs> yes. Now, take a look at this. 
I'm going to send, uh, I would say, uh, some exercises over here. Some 20 oraciones. Okay? And you're going to work in purse. Okay? Uh, for example, imagine that the, the uh, sentence is, there are only a few windows. And then you're going to use not enough. All right? To say the same idea. O sea, usted dice, there are only a few windows. Significa que no tiene suficiente. So you're going to say, there are not enough windows. Okay? And then you continue. You see? O sea, for example, imagine that you are practicing, let's see, Jocelyn and Margarita are practicing right now. Jocelyn asks, and, and Jocelyn reads the original sentence, por ejemplo. Y usted le, there are only a few windows. Y le pregunta, por ejemplo, a Margarita. So, Margarita, you gotta say, there, are, there aren't enough windows. Okay? O sea, tiene 20 oportunidades para practicar. Y van uno a uno, you know, one by one. Okay? You go with number two. Ya le voy a mandar el acceso a esto, por cierto. I'm gonna send it to you. It's not bright enough. Okay? It's not bright enough. Algo que tienen ustedes que entender es, at least to, to, to know is, let me just go back over here. Si usted utiliza to, tiene un significado negativo, porque es demasiado significado. To, all right? For example, you can say right now, this internet is too slow, right? Demasiado lento, right? It does something negative. So that's the message that you want to say, okay? Like this, it's, it's not bright enough. O sea, si no hay suficiente luz, ¿qué significa? So what's the meaning if, if it's not bright enough? So how would you say the same thing? Like it's not bright enough using two over there. Obviamente le va a quitar enough, ¿verdad? Y va a la va a reestructurar. So you have to restructure this in a different way. So, si un cuarto... No tiene suficiente luz? Una habitación no tiene suficiente luz? What would be the opposite? What would be the opposite? If it's not bright enough. Uh -huh. It's too bright. It's too bright es que tiene demasiado luz, pero en este caso no hay suficiente luz, porque it's, it's not bright it's, enough. It's too dark. It's too dark. Thank you, Margarita. That's actually the correct one. Yes. All right? So in this case, we're talking about opposites, all right? We, we have, uh, I have enough time to, to uh, do the homework, you can say that, or you can say, I don't have enough time, or I don't have too many hours. You may say that, or enough hours. Take a look, it's too dark. And just like that. So right now I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms and I'll be sharing with you the access information so you can practice this. Diga la oración en, en, en original, like this one, it's not bright enough, y su compañero o compañera le va a decir la respuesta, ¿verdad? Como tiene que ser. And if she or he can, uh, she cannot do it, you can help her, okay? Help her or him, all right? The idea is to say this like very quickly, okay? And so your seven participants, there is going to be a group of three, all right? And here we go. So Jose is with uh, Tania and Zulma, Jocelyn with Margarita, Adriana with Raquel. Let me send the access information to you right away, all right? Ya les mando el acceso a esto, okay? Just one second. Hay que unirse a, lo, a los rooms, eh, Raquel. You, you gotta join over there, please. The rooms.
¿Dónde está usted que aquí donde, donde dice there are no enough windows? Oh. Sí, abajo están las respuestas. Hello, let me share the screen with you, all right? Uh, yeah. Right, can you see the screen now? The one I'm sharing with you? Yes? Zulma and Tani. Aquí está esta flechita. You just yes. click on the you click on the arrow over there or you just go full screen. Entonces, uh, si le da si le da en la en la flash course le va la respuesta. You see? A mí así me aparece ya con la respuesta. Ok. Eh, quizás porque está en, está en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Pero váyase en la parte de arriba y ahí le va, ahí le va a decir como study para, para estudiar. Porque ah. está, ajá, study. Porque usted está en review. Hay una forma que está como, que dice como review y todo eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, no le puedo compartir la pantalla, ¿verdad? Por cuestiones... Eh, entonces usted se va donde dice flash course. La de flash course es la que tiene que elegir. Sí, que okay. sea. Para que no le dé la respuesta. Eso. All right, so go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can choose, let's say, uh, Zulma and then Jose and then uh, uh, Zulma continues and then Jose, etc. So you can finish this, please. Um, Zulma. It's not breeze enough. Uh, I don't. I don't understand because in my screen say registrate para ver resto de la ficha. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, me. Uh, okay. But you can enter with, with your Google account, so no problem over there. So don't worry about that. Okay, they're not going to steal anything from you, right? With Google, you can do so. So, but let's do it with me then. So I'm going to help you then. Yeah, so let's do number okay. number two. So I'm going to choose you, Tania, and then I'll go with Zulma and Jose with the next one. So it has only one bathroom. So how would you say this? Using enough, not enough. Uh, it hasn't enough mm. bathroom. Yeah, you can say that. Pero acuérdese el negativo de tercera persona es it doesn't have, it doesn't have, it doesn't, it doesn't have enough, oh, it doesn't. Enough, enough bathroom. bathroom. Yes, thank you. You see? Or there are not enough mm. bathrooms, okay? Okay, or there are not enough bathrooms. O sea, no hay suficiente baño. All right, so Zulma, for you, number, number three, all right, sorry, it said, hold on, let me stop sharing this screen, all right, no quiero meter la pata porque me está preguntando algo por acá, uh, okay, yeah, found it, 
let me let me just again share the screen with you all right so ready suma All right, here we go. Okay, so Sulma. Um, yes. Now let's go number four. It's not convenient enough. It's not convenient. Aquí puede haber más de una respuesta. It's not convenient enough. O sea, no es conveniente. It could be because it's too far away from your job, or it's because the house is too small, or it's too expensive, etc. So it's up to you. It's not convenient. It's not going to be. Uh -huh. But in this case, you got to use two. So, mm -hmm. so what can you say? In this case, more than one answer is, is possible. All right. So more than one answer is possible over here. Is could be uh, it doesn't convenient. El único cambio que va a hacer es poner to y luego un adjetivo. Comenzar it's to. So convenient. why? So why a place or a house is not convenient or or it is not convenient enough for you? Apartment, for example. Yeah, but, but why do you think an apartment is not convenient? So, no le conviene. Or, 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 ¿Por qué cree? Why do you think so? Uh, because uh, there are two, two small. Because it's too small. Because it's too small, you may say. Yeah, that could be an auction motor. Or you can say it's too inconvenient. O sea, aquí es bien básico lo que le está diciendo, pero en la vida real, you can say because it's too small, because it's too far away from my job. O sea, usted, you live in, in, in Santa Ana and your job is in Santa Tecla. I would say that is too inconvenient because it's too far away. And you know, I have some friends I have some friends who work at the same school as I do, and they, they live in, in Huayua, and, and he works in Santa Tecla. Imagine that. And he travels every single day from Huayua to Santa Tecla. Eso era antes del COVID, ¿verdad? Before COVID-19. So that's why he can say, my job is too inconvenient because I have to travel every single day. Okay, that's the point over there. Mm -hmm. And this one is not spacious enough, Jose. Can you help me with this? Please. It's not it's not too small. Mm, okay. It's not or it's too small. Small. Entonces sería it's too small. It's, it's too small. Yes, because it, it, it's not spacious enough or there there isn't enough space. Okay, it's demasiado pequeño. So that's the opposite. Take a look. It's too small. It's too cramped over there. Oh. For example, the latest the latest video game, okay, on the market. It costs fifteen hundred dollars, right? No voy a decir la marca porque no se puede. Pero el último videojuego cuesta mil quinientos dólares, one thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, entonces. If you say, I don't have enough money to buy it, but you can also say, es demasiado caro. So how do you say that, Jose, for example? Es demasiado caro, Jose. So Jose, how, how do you say, uh, es demasiado caro? It's more expensive. Eh, no, ahí está diciendo es más caro, no está diciendo es, es demasiado. Tú significa ah. demasiado, ¿ok? It's too expensive. It's too expensive, exactly, it's too expensive. Yes, that's it. Si en si, si, si su casa hay mucho ruido, hay demasiado ruido, you know. It's too noisy, es muy ruidoso, muy ruidosa, etc. All right? Now let's continue over here. But... So, Sulma, were you able to access 
ya ingresó usted por su propia cuenta. Were you able to access? A ver, en José, were you able to access? Or not? No, teacher. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Tania, if you if you want, you can share the screen with Zulma and José. So you can help each other. Porque I, I need to go to the other break rooms. Necesito ir a ayudar a, a las demás. Teacher, ¿y si envía el link al chat para abrirlo ya, de la compu? Ya lo envié a, a WhatsApp. Ah, pero a WhatsApp. Okay. A, a, a Zoom, dice usted. Ajá. Bye. Ahorita. Ahí está ya. Ahí está. Así lo comparten mejor. Uh -huh. Vaya, voy a ir a visitar a sus compañeros. Ya regreso por acá. The apartment is not as expensive as the house. Yes. All right, so I'm sorry to interrupt you. So what, no, what, what number are you uh, doing right now? 15. 15, all right. Let me just go to 15. So I'm sure, so I'm sure in the screen over here, all right? I'm sure in the screen, as you can see. The apartment isn't comfortable enough. Okay. okay. Isn't comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so why would you say this, using enough, you said? The apartment isn't comfortable enough. Yeah, that's it. That's actually, that's it, right? And then over here you have the answer. As you can see, the apartment is uncomfortable enough, all right? What about, what about 16? 16, let's see, uh, Margarita. There aren't bedrooms. There aren't enough bedrooms. That's perfect. Thank you so much. What about uh, Jocelyn, this one? It's not private. It's not private enough. That's great, yes, that's correct. You see, it's not private enough. All right, so the next one over here. There aren't parking spaces. There aren't enough parking spaces. Thank you. And of course, the last one, you, ah, what about this one? The neighborhood doesn't have street lights. Let's see, Jocelyn. The neighborhood, neighborhood don't have enough street lights. Street lights, yes, that's right. Street lights. Street lights. Street <laughs> yeah. So the living room is in a space. ¿Cómo se dice neighborhood? Neighborhood. 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 In okay. the neighborhood. Right. Neighborhood. It means it means colonia, barrio, residencial. That's the meaning of it. Okay. 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 All right. Vecindario is also means over here. The living room isn't spacious enough. Uh, let's see, Margarita. The living room isn't enough. Is the living room isn't spacious enough. Yes. Why? Because it's too small, we don't have enough space, etc. right? And then there we go. All right. So let's let's come back to the to the main session so we can continue the class and, and finish the, the uh, these activities, all right? So just one second. Okay. Okay. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Um, now, let's take a look at this screen, please, like very quickly. Let me just, uh, I would say, wrap up this information with you. So in that way, you know the difference between two and enough, just like that. If you want to say that something is negative, you use two, okay? You say it's not uh, spacious enough, and then you say it's too small. So that would be the opposite. But it's too cramped. Okay. If you want to say it isn't safe enough, it's dangerous, 
you may say it's too dangerous, right? Too dangerous, because that's the opposite. No es lo suficientemente seguro. ¿Por qué? Porque la delincuencia, etc. Right? I don't want to give you more details. So it's too dangerous. So that's what you say over there. Demasiado peligroso. Okay. For example, if you want to buy a new uh, a new uh, cell phone, but you think that $1,000 is, is a lot of money, you can say it's too expensive, right? Because it's too much. Es demasiado, etc. And just the last one, it says there's only one parking space. You go to downtown over there, by el centro de San Salvador, and then you see, okay, there's only one parking space. Usted dice, debería haber más espacio, no hay suficiente espacio, o parqueos. There's, uh, there, there is, uh, there are, there aren't, or the reason, in this case is the reason, right? Because it's parking space. The reason, uh, enough parking space. Okay, just like that. Actually, it makes it makes sense how you say it, right? What about on this one? It says Lisa has three ducks and Mary has one duck. Who can help me with uh, an example over here? Con la respuesta, with the, with the answer over here. A volunteer who can actually help me with this? Lisa has three ducks and Mary has one duck. Using as and as. Anybody? Alguien que diga me? Somebody can say, I mean, that says me. Teacher could be, mm -hmm. uh, Lisa has three dogs. Uh, can I use as many because it's mm -hmm. countable, right? Yes, correct. Lisa yes. has three dogs as many. Mm, uh, el as, many va, as many goes over here in medio de después del verbo, All right after the verb. Uh, okay, Lisa has Lisa has as many three dogs as Mary. Okay, as Mary, you can say that. But when we use as and etc., as many or as much, no quitamos la cantidad. Okay, porque estamos diciendo tiene tantos como. Okay, because otherwise, Sulma, we can say, Sulma has two dogs, okay, Sulma has two dogs, and so does Mary, and Mary has two dogs, too, right? Entonces, en lugar de decir todo eso, mejor decimos, Lisa has three, as many dogs as Mary, but in this case, uh, that's not real, that's not true, porque, why? Because Lisa has more dogs than Mary, all right? So you can say Lisa doesn't, I'm sorry, no, in this case it's Mary, right? Mary, porque es la que tiene mm -hmm. menos. Mary doesn't have as many dogs as Lisa, right? Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, aquí hay que pensar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Pero yes, I mean, uh, the idea that you have, it's actually correct. Take a look. Mary doesn't have as many dogs as Lisa. Why? Because, uh, Lisa has three ducks, and Mary only has one, okay? Yeah. What about this one? My house has three bathrooms, and your house has three bathrooms. Aquí se aplica, mire, It's the same. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the same, exactly. So, can you give it a try, Suma? My house has... Yeah. My, my house has... As many three bathrooms. Le quitamos as, el número. At you. Uh -huh. at my, your house, house. my house has as many bathrooms as your house. Bathrooms. Exacto. Es esto, por eso que ocupamos esta estructura, para ya no decir la cantidad, sino que solo decir la igualdad. That's why. Okay. I can say, I don't when have. They, excuse me. Eh, for example, uh, if you if you has four bathrooms, it's different, right? Yes, correct. You can say my house doesn't have as many bathrooms as your house. Okay. All right. So tomorrow we're gonna continue with this and to cover some more topics that that are gonna help you for the platform. But I have to go because I have another class. 
tomorrow we're gonna say goodbye, okay? And hopefully we're gonna continue with some more topics. My idea is to help you improve and practice your English. And right now I just gotta say have a great night and hope to see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye and take care. Thanks for joining the class. All right.